Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. And in this one, I wanna to talk to you guys about money. How to make money, at least early game, so that you can then either buy the stuff you want, or go and form a permanent posse. Posses are of course kind of like squads or clans in this game. You can make a temporary one, which is basically just like making a party so that you can play with your friends, or you can make a permanent one, which is, as mentioned, kind of like a clan. You can name it, you can then of course have more people, you can invite people to it, you can then set up a camp together, do activities together. Basically, it's just kind of a fun way to mess around online as a squad. However, in order to do that, you're gonna need $200. And while $200 might not sound like a drastically large sum of money, when you start off playing online and you're earning money in the cents and the kind of one, two dollar mark, it is gonna take you quite some time. So in this video, I thought I'd put together a few handy tips based on our initial time playing and some ways you guys might wanna kind of consider earning money early on in Red Dead Online. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you guys haven't entered our giveaway for the limited edition Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Switch, then be sure to click that link in the description box down below to enter. And of course, be sure to click that notification button if you don't want to miss any of our future Red Dead content. Now, to begin with, as mentioned, in order to form your own permanent posse, you will need $200. And once you've done that, you can then of course go to the menu, you can press left on the D-pad to bring this up, you can then go down to form your posse, and of course you can then select the permanent setting, and at that point you're then able to go and choose your camp location, choose the size of your camp, and once it's set up and you've named it, you can then of course invite your friends. You can then, once it's created, go and do activities together, go on you know missions together, and of course you can also do little kind of fun games against each other, like you know, death match, races, that sort of stuff. But how do you make that $200? Well, to begin with, the first thing, quite simply, is story missions. Now, online at the moment, since it is a beta and the information that Rockstar have provided so far says that they will be adding content as they go, right now there are only six story missions to do. That'll take you up to 75% completion on the progress screen. And once you've done that, the story missions basically come to an end. However, these are a good way to earn money early on. In fact, if you do all six story missions, that in itself will give you enough money to make your posse. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go and take that money and use it to buy weapons, guns, that kind of stuff. Typically speaking, your missions early on will give you somewhere in the realms of $15 to $20 per completion. It doesn't necessarily always make it too clear. Sometimes the pop-up comes up during a cutscene, but if you pay attention to your currency at the end of a mission, you can then see it increase. However, as you get towards the end of the missions, say the final one, then you get a little bit more. And once you completed the sixth mission, you actually get a nice chunk of money. You get around $200. So that in itself basically pays for the squad fee. However, on top of that, don't forget that all while you're doing missions, you want to be looting all the bodies. Anytime you kill an enemy, you will then want to loot them because they will either just give you straight cash or they'll give you items that you can then either use for food as you're playing through the game or sell. And of course, that links into the next point, which is selling items to fences. If you go on the map and you look for the fences, typically they are located in some of the major towns and not necessarily in every single one of them, but you want to look for this icon here. You can then go over here and you can sell your essentially stolen goods. Now, again, early on, some of the things I was finding like gold rings, earrings, that kind of stuff, gold coins, they don't sell for a great deal of money, but when you factor in the amount of gunfights you get into, the amount of missions you do, the amount of kind of enemies you dispatch, if you loot all of them and you grab all of their stuff, then eventually you're gonna have a fair amount of stuff to sell. So while they might only sell for say two, three, four dollars, if you sell enough of it, that in itself will also add up. However, on top of that, the other thing you wanna keep an eye out for are the random activities. When you're playing through the game, on the left side of the screen, occasionally you'll get these pop-ups for these world activities. They kind of fall into different categories. The example you're seeing here is called Cold Dead Hands, which is kind of like a sort of capture the flag style mode where you grab a bag and you have to hold onto it for as long as possible. And you can play that as a team. There are different variations. There's free roam modes, but essentially these activities can also yield good amounts of money. Now, there are kind of varying results. I've played sort of a team deathmatch mode, which only gave me around $5, but this one specifically, this Cold Dead Hands one, we played it as a squad, and then upon winning, we actually got $30. So that in itself, again, is a good chunk of money towards that $200 goal. So I would say that while sometimes when they pop up, you might be inclined to ignore if you're in the middle of a mission or on the way to, you know, somewhere specific, they are probably worth your time doing, especially early on, because if you can jump in and you can secure that win, then that is gonna give you a nice amount of money. 
Now, outside of that, you can, as mentioned, always just go into the regular multiplayer modes and you can just kind of complete them for little amounts of cash. There are also, you know, stranger missions located around the map and different things like that. Those kind of missions don't typically give you as much money. So, yes, you can still do them and it will kind of gradually get you towards your goal. But as it currently stands, if you're jumping into online for the first time, and some of you guys may be doing that, depending on the way that you kind of purchase Red Dead, you might be, you know, jumping in for the first time today, tomorrow, something like that, then I would recommend going through the story missions. It might not necessarily be the thing you typically want to do straight away online. I mean, you know, I know I just wanted to kind of jump on and lasso people and just kind of mess around and have fun. But if you go through the story missions, it will at least set you up with a decent money foundation. You'll at least have, you know, a good kind of 300 or so dollars once you finish those missions. And then of course, outside of that, you can then pick and choose things as you see fit. Killing other players doesn't seem to yield a great deal of money. Again, I don't know whether that is something that might change later on. In fact, you basically get no money from it. You kill players, you can't really loot their bodies. So it kind of seems like a bit of a pointless effort right now, apart from, say, doing it for fun. So that's probably not going to be your main source of money. But those definitely are the things you should consider doing. Do your story missions. Do the random activities that pop up on the side of your screen. And of course, loot everything. Sell items to fences and then that should at least set you up for a good start. Hopefully once Rockstar begin adding more content to the beta, we get, you know, the final story missions, we get some additional content, there may well be better ways to earn money, but as it currently stands, that is a good way to get started. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. If you discover any more methods that you think are useful yourself, by all means share them in the comments down below, but otherwise be sure to keep it locked for plenty more Red Dead coverage. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.